going on guys? Bassy here and welcome to the no bullshit installation of Arc servers. Now today we're going to use a program called ASM Manager. Um, it's an easy, super, super duper easy way of installing and controlling and running your Arc servers. Uh, this uh, episode right now is going to be uh, the easy way to do this. So we're going to do the basics, basically just going to be a server, we're going to install it. When and then we're good to go. Um, in the next video, we're going to do an advanced um, tutorial of the same thing, but going more in depth on what you need to do to have a modern server. And in the episode after that, we're going to do a, a complete like in-depth um, ASM server manager. I do not want these uh, episodes to be too long and boring, so we're just going to be jumping straight in. All the links are going to be in the description. All right, so with the first link, you will be brought to this uh, side here, uh, where under installers, you have to choose either latest.exe or latest.zip. Um, if you want to install it on your C drive, then go click the exe and install it like a usual program. However, for me, um, I, I have a few different servers on this machine, and so I will just download the zip instead. And so I have the file here, so I will open this file, and then to where I want to install it, um, this is my so don't mind that this is L. Uh, you, yours can be whatever you want it to be. Make a new folder. Uh, I'm gonna call mine ASM because that's the uh, Arc Server Manager. Inside of that, I will extract all of the items or all of the folders, like so. Super easy to do, right? And then all you have to do, double click Arc Server Manager. Um, it will ask you if you want to run it in administration mode, which you have to do. So you have to click yes. And then it will ask you where do you want me to set up your Steam CMD um, because you have not yet done that. Uh, and so what I usually do is I back out of this and then I make a new folder here. And then I'm naming that Steam CMD. Um, it's just easier to manage with, with all the, the, the folders in my opinion. You can do it however you want but this is how I'm doing it. So I'm just selecting this folder here. Uh, and then it will ask you to store profiles here. And yes, you definitely want to be doing that. Then it will run everything here, and once that is done, then you will go to the next step. And it's very important that you allow access to everything. Um, so, so allow access, and by doing so in your firewall, you have to do that in your antivirus program, whatever you're using. I will not show mine because I have some personal information there that I don't want to be shown, but um, just make sure it's excluded. All right, so once you have your program opened, up here, you will see your public IP. This is the IP that players will connect to, not you, uh, not yourself at least, not if you're on the same computer. If this is on a public IP and you're on another IP, then you will be connecting to this as well. But if this is in your local area network, then you will connect to your local IP. Uh, you have a few options to go through up here, but in this guide, we ain't gonna cover that. Um, we're gonna click the little plus icon here. Uh, now here is everything that you will need for your um, server and up top here you I, I usually just type whatever I want here so I in case you have different servers then it's going to be easier to uh, recognize. So for my uh, profile I'm going to name that the island and you can see up top here it's actually naming that which is super convenient. Uh, server name here that's what the, the server itself is going to be called so like in this game service list. Uh, so I'm going to call mine, oh shit, uh, raw test server. Um, so under installation location over here, you can see it will be in L, which is mine. That will be different from you. Uh, under Steam CMD, which is here, uh, it's going to make a folder called servers, and then this one is going to be server one. Uh, you can change that, obviously, but for the sake of this video, let's just click install. Now this might take a, a little bit of your time. Uh, but don't worry, just leave it open. It might seem like it's uh, crashing or not responding, but just leave it open. It can take up to, I've seen it take 15 minutes at times. All right, so the service is installed. That can take a few minutes, like I said. It depends on your PC, it depends on your internet connection. Uh, but when that is done, close that, and then uh, make sure in server name here that you have entered a name. Uh, then you will need to make sure that this port and this port is open in your router. Uh, I will have an in-depth video on that later on, but for now you need to uh, make sure that they are open. Yeah, and this one, you just let it be where it is. Um, enable Archon is super convenient, uh, but then you will also need to forward this uh, port here. Uh, basically, you can open up this Archon here, 
And from here, you will see all the players. You can send commands. You can pretty much see everything the chat in game. Uh, you can pretty much monitor your server by this. So I highly recommend enabling this. Uh, but you, like I said, you have to uh, open this port as well. Uh, map and mods, uh, map name, you go over here, you select the map you want to be hosting. For now, I will choose, I mean, I'm going to do a vanilla just for the test server. So I'm going to choose the island. You can choose whichever one you want. Um, if you are going to do a conversion, then you do that here. Uh, it's a bit buggy at times, so do that with caution. Please do save backup before you do any of that. Mod IDs, I will cover this in the next episode. Um, uh, how often you want the, the autosave to be. A message of the day, you know the annoying pop-up that everyone is using. But they can be, be helpful at times. Uh, all right, so max players. Depending on your PC, you will have to experiment. Uh, you can have pretty much whatever you want here. Uh, for this test server, I'm just going to keep it at 50. Uh, in my experiments, uh, experience, then usually around 100 is best. Uh, you don't really want to exceed that uh, because lag and, and you know. Um, when your server is small, I would not recommend having this one. If your server is highly populated and issue is becoming with AFK, then having an idle timeout is great. Uh, for now, I'm going to keep that off. But like I said, if your server is popular and you are experiencing lag or stuff like on the server, then take that and that will help with some of it. Uh, I would suggest having the ban list because most of the server owners are inputting bans there. Um, and so you're sharing a ban list with people. Um, so basically hackers, cheaters, exploiters, abusers are already banned from your server. Uh, you, uh, with that as well, uh, I would definitely tag this one off. Uh, this will make it so that no one can join your server uh, if they're using family share. Um, that's another thing that will keep hackers off your server basically. All right, so um, uh, from this, you should enable BattleEye. Obvious reasons, you don't want hackers on your server, I'm assuming. Um, you also, let's see, you want to use all available cores. Uh, you could use cache. I wouldn't use that for now uh, in the basics. Uh, we, could, we can go over that in the next episode. Um, you should also use um, the low memory and no mass guy. Unless you have a super high powered PC, then you can have them off, but I would highly recommend you to uh, tag them, definitely. And that's basically it. So you hit save, yoink. And when it's saved, you click start. And that's pretty much everything you need to do. It's super easy. It takes you about, with installation times, about 15 minutes. Give or take, it depends on your PC, like I said. But this is all you have to do. Your server is running. You can see the progress right here. Um, players, 0 out of 50. Um, it's going to take a, a while to get up, and then that's it. This is something, however, it might do. It, um, right now, it's saying that the server is called Arc 592011. Um, you might need to have your server up, close it, and then open it again to show your proper server name. Uh, so I'm actually going to do that. Uh, but just wait till it's fully started up. Uh, and it's fully started up when you can see that text right here, full startup. Uh, so don't close it before that. Uh, so you, you click stop. And then uh, I'm going to do a shutdown. Uh, basically from here you will be able to do a countdown if players are online um, you can do a reasoning so that it will pop up in the in the top um, so we're just waiting for the server to to uh, close down and then we're going to do that again uh, you can disregard that the fact that i changed my ports that's just because i had those ports open before so I, it won't allow me to open the uh, the server by itself uh, but for you as long as you have those ports open it will work for you um, and once you have launched your server once, uh, you will see the installed version up here. And that's basically all you have to do. So I'm going to start my server again, and then I'm just going to jump on Arc just to show you um, it's actually there. Uh, keep in mind though that um, you, if you need to enter the IP, then your IP will be here if you uh, highlight that. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to show my IP. Um, but uh, if you click this, uh, it will tell you what IP you will need to connect with.
All right, and there we go. Now the server is called raw test server, which was what we entered. We can see the proper ports here, uh, port 8000, query port 20. That's the, the ports I have, not the port you're gonna have. Um, you can see all the, uh, the extra things we added. And full startup, it took around a minute, which is kinda normal, honestly. Uh, so now I'm gonna boot up my game. I'm gonna connect to the server just to prove to you that it actually was that simple. So honestly, it takes for like 15 minutes. So we have the server up and running. We have the console up to our top right, which now says connected. And then we have our game. All right, so once you're here, you go bottom left corner, you will choose unofficial. You could also go to favorites or, or uh, LAN afterwards, but for now, let's go unofficial. And then after that, you wanna give it a second so it can search because it's a little bit wonky in this server uh, filter. And then you simply enter your server name. So mine is raw test server. Right. I had to click the show password protect because I, I still had the, the password protect on the server. Um, so, but basically here it is. You can see the players ping and everything. And now this is your server. Um, so just for good measure, let's join. Enter the password that we apparently have. And that's all you have to do, honestly. It's as simple as that to do your server. It, like I said, it takes around 15 minutes, and honestly, the, the majority of the time it takes for you is to download it. And then to make sure your mods and stuff are up to spec. Um, we are going to cover mods, and we are going to cover way more of the ASM manager. Um, but for now, you have a server, you have um, which actually works, and it's, it's a perfectly fine server. This is vanilla, obviously. Um, so in the next video, we're going to be editing everything. But as you can see, everything works. And so in, in the Archon log, you can see that Mr. Bassabas just joined. I get attacked by Compass. Lovely. Um, but yeah, one, two, three. You can see like it's entering in the log. Everything works. So it's as simple as that. Right, guys. If any of this was helpful for you, then please do give me a thumbs up. Shoot me a comment if anything is not working properly for you. And I will do my best to answer them. Um, I'm going to be doing the advanced guide shortly so that should be up in within maybe a week or two and then we're gonna follow up by a complete in-depth guide as well i'm also streaming on twitch on mondays and thursdays at 7 pm to 10 pm uh, central europe time um you can see my my link here and then you can also uh, find find it in the description um so that's gonna be it guys thank you so much for watching bye bye